This video is about completing the music bowl. It starts where the piano keyboard video left off. It also provides the details of making this upper ring where the music notes appear. Sorry. Um, this one ring should do both. I want it about the same thickness, so I need roughly 3 8 of an inch. This ring is 0.9 thick. Uh, so I'm going to try to split it in half. Before I try to cut this, I have flattened both sides of this Wenge ring and sanded it on the lathe. So it is ready to glue. Pretty smooth cut and fairly even. So mission accomplished. Okay, I am ready to turn on the porthole ring. I'm gonna start on the outside and my objective is take as little off of it to make it round as possible. Uh, I've got a just sharpened tool and I'm gonna try to make really light cuts because I don't want to mess anything up here. I'll get too much work in it. Okay, I don't have it quite round yet, but I'm getting some tear out that I don't like. So I'm going to switch to sanding on the outside. Um, like I said, I got too much work in this thing to ruin it. The, the feature ring is pretty well in the shape I want it, except for this upper rim. Um, so I think it's time to move to the inside. Okay, I got the turning done on the inside of the bowl with the exception of the top rim. I am now going to flatten this ring so and glue the, the next uh, ring of Wenge on. But I wanted to show you something before I move on. Um, as I was turning on the inside, the, this is not a knot in the wood. Um, so I've got three places where a little bit of the uh, MDF middle panel actually showed through so I can't turn anymore in here um, so I'm resorting to sanding with this guy but if I have to do this again I'm going to go with at least a half inch inner layer uh, so that I can continue to turn it was turning just fine uh, the outside was catching only because the chisel was catching on the window of the of the porthole So I'm making a, a sandwich to laminate together and I'll demonstrate that real quick. Um, the reason for the thicker strip on the outside is to allow room for sanding. Um, but it's intended to look like the lines on a, mu a music score sheet. Okay, ready to make the sandwich. I have some Type Bond 2 in this cup and a disposable paintbrush just to make it a little bit quicker. Okay, so I have these laminated strips uh, put together and they are ready to cut up into segments, but it's got two, it's got rough edges. So I'm just gonna sand one edge flat uh, just to get good angles when I put it on the uh, wedgie sled. Uh, 
I cut the ebonized um, walnut into strips and then uh, pieces. So I've got pieces to go between each of these and I'm going to put them in there and then uh, just double check the fit. Okay, that's a good fit. Uh, ready for glue up. I was getting a bit of shimmy shake as I was trying to turn the inside and vibration. So I'm trying out my new steady rest uh, from one way. Well, I have to say that really worked. Um, <laughs> I'm happy with it. Um, I'm going to start turning on it. I'm going to start on the inside using the steady wrist. But uh, good for now. I'm going to switch to the outside. Okay, for the to keep down the vibration wobble, I put this cone in, and I'm going to be turning on the outside. So I decided I like the profile on the outside the way it is. It's turned to look good, uh, but I, the wall thickness is still a little thick and uh, I'm gonna do a little more on the inside. That's looking pretty good. Okay, final shaping on the top. The main area where I need to turn is right in this joint. Um, the rest of it's good. I All right, everything looks good. I've got to do a little more work on the feature ring up in here, but that's sanding. So it's ready to sand. The bowl is now finished sanded on the outside, but I'm going to try to do a little embellishment on this ring. I practiced yesterday with a wood burner. I've never actually done wood burning as an embellishment, uh, except for a couple of these marquetry rings, but I am going to try to put some music notes in. This wood burner has an oval uh, piece on it. Okay, so the other piece of this is just do some straight lines. All right, I have all the music notes on. So it's time to apply the finish. I'm gonna start with the feature ring since it has to be done more manual. I'm using a homemade shine juice getting a fresh paper towel and I'm going to do the outside and then move on into the inside. So I'm putting a coat of carnauba wax, actually two coats of carnauba wax on the bowl, starting with the feature ring. Well, I found a makeshift way to do the cutoff because I still can't get my tool rest down here at the base because of the drop bed on my lathe. Um, the bowl is just a little too big in diameter um, close to the headstock. So I'm using my new uh, steady rest uh, as a makeshift.
tool rest. Well, the makeshift tool rest worked out just fine. Uh, I'm going to finish it with a saw.